Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how we can fill objects with liquid using Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.0 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all let's import our Susan model. So go to this add mesh select monkey which is Susan. So let me increase the scaling. So select the model press S and drag the mouse sideways to increase the scaling of Susan. So press 3 for side view. Let me select this rotate tool. Hold control key while rotating. And let me select this move tool and let me place the Susan just above to this grid here. Okay. So we got this model here. So in order to fill this object with liquid, we need to create a hole here. So for that, we'll be using a cylinder. So go to this add mesh, select a cylinder and let me place this cylinder here. So this is fine. So make sure the cylinder is passing through the object. Okay. So now select this Susan model, come to this modifier options, add modifier and add this Boolean modifier. So let it be difference and object. We need to select the cylinder. We can select here like this or else we can select this pick tool and we can pick the cylinder. Okay. So after that we need to apply this boolean modifier. Now select the cylinder and delete. So here we got this hole created. So let me enable this cavity and shadow. Okay. So here we got this hole created but it is filled up. So now again select the Susan model press tab for edit mode. So make sure it is vertices. So hold alt key and select this below vertices here. So that all the vertices will be selected. Now delete the vertices. So now we got this perfect hole. Now again press tab to exit this edit mode. So now let's see how we can fill this object with a liquid. So for that we will be using a UV sphere. So go to this add mesh select UV sphere. So let me place this UV sphere here. So for the simulations to work we need to have the objects in large scale. So let me increase the scaling of the Susan a bit. So press S and increase the scaling and let me apply the scaling options also press one for front view and let me place this just above the grid here like this okay so let me select this uv sphere press seven for top view and let me place this here okay so nice so now let's select this uv sphere once again come to this object quick effects select this quick liquid so now we got a bonding box created which is called domain so basically the liquid simulation takes place inside this domain only so now we need to resize this domain so that our Susan fits inside this domain. So select this domain, press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling. Press 1 for front view, press S and increase the scaling here like this. So press S, X, increase the scaling in X axis. Now press 7 for top view, press S and Y and increase the scaling in Y axis. Now let me move this here. Okay. So now we can see we got this Susan model inside this domain only. Nice. So now let me show some settings of this liquid and domain. So select this UV sphere first. Come to this physics property. Type let it be flow. Flow type let it be liquid. Flow behavior we need to change this to inflow. So inflow means we will be having this liquid falling throughout the timeline. Okay. So if I play this now we are not seeing any particles because we need to refresh the domain. So select the domain. So in resolution let me change this to 44 so that it will be refreshed. So now if I play this, we can see we are getting this liquid particles emitting from that UV sphere. So by setting that inflow option, we will get this liquid flow throughout the timeline. So if you want to stop this liquid flow after certain frames, we can do that. I will show you that also. Okay. So first let's see the domain setting. So select the domain, domain type, it should be liquid. Here comes the resolution. Here we can increase the resolution. So one thing we should remember, if the number increases, the bake time increases the quality will be good okay so for time being i will leave this to 44 scroll down we need to enable this mesh option or else we won't get the mesh here created we will get only particles so let me enable this mesh option and here we need to select a cache folder where we can save the data so let me select a folder so here i have selected a folder so this frame and start and end indicates the simulation time so let me increase this to 350 frames okay so this is the domain settings after that let me select this uv sphere once again so here i will show you how we can add keyframe for this flow option so here let me change this end to 350 frames since we have changed the simulation frames to 300 so if i select this here 
if i scroll down you can see i have changed this simulation frame rate to 350 frames so for that reason i have changed this time length to 350 okay so now select this uspf so now i want this flow to be stopped at certain frames so beyond the frame where you want to stop this flow so after that add a keyframe here so make sure this is enabled so now move one frame forward here i move to 250 one frame so now disable this use flow option and add a keyframe now so now till 250 frames the liquid will flow after that it will stop nice so now if i play this once again still particles are not coming so now we need to refresh this once again so select the domain and let me change the resolution to 32 once again and now we got this mesh here so now if i play this we can say we got the particles along with the mesh here so let's say whether this flow will stop after 250 frames or not so here you can say the flow is stopped after 250 frames okay so in this way we can add keyframes for this liquid flow okay so here we don't want this liquid to be falling outside we want this liquid to be captured inside this susan object so now i will show you that so be on the first frame so now select this susan model come to this physics property and add fluid and type change it to effector so effector type let it be collision okay so now let's say whether the liquid will be collected inside the object or not so now if i play this still it is not collecting or the liquid is not staying inside this object so we need to add a solidify modifier basically it gives some thickness to the model so let me select this susan model once again come to this modifier options add modifier and add this solidify modifier so now let me move to solid viewport let me enable this x-ray so now here we need to increase the thickness so i will increase the thickness to 0.1 or else let me increase this to 0.25 okay so now you can see we got some thickness added inside this object okay so now if i play this we can see still it's not working so make sure our solidify modifier is about our liquid so change the position of the solidify modifier here so in modifier options of our object we should have the solidify modifier first after that we need to have the fluid so now if i play this once again so still it's not working so let me change the resolution of this domain once again so let me make it 38 so now if i play this you can see it is collecting some liquid but it is not collecting all the liquid here so we need to increase the thickness so let me select this effector or this model let me increase this sampling steps to 200 and also come to this modifier options and let me increase this thickness to 0.5 okay and let me select this uv sphere once again come to this physics property and let me increase this sampling sub steps to 200 okay so after adding this sampling sub steps for this uv sphere which is liquid and also adding this sampling sub steps for this effector and let me give some surface thickness like 0 0.00001 okay so now i am sure that the liquid will be collected inside so let me bake this first so select this liquid domain and i will increase the resolution to 64 and scroll down so here we are not seeing any bake option so in order to get that bake option we need to change this type to modular or all so i will change this to all and i will enable this is resumable option if you want to pause your bake at any time we can do that so i will enable this resumable option and simply click on this bake all button so here you can see this bake is done and if i play this simulation you can see our liquid will be staying inside the object and by any way if the liquid is spilling out of the object we need to increase the thickness of the model in solidify modifier so select this model come to this modifier properties here we need to increase the thickness and also we need to increase the subsampling steps of this collision property so maximum is 200 so i kept this 200 and also for liquid it should be maximum number so for this also i made this 200 which is maximum number okay so once this is done bake the simulation it will be right so now move on to this render viewport so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so let me add a world color environment texture and let me select an hdra so let me open an hdra here and open okay so here we got the lighting so basically we will get the hdra like this so we can hide out that hdra in 
this render settings scroll down to this film option and enable this transparent so we will get this transparent background so now let's add glass material onto this model so select the model come to this serial properties add new material and in surface select the glass okay so currently this is not looking like glass but if i change this render engine to cycles we will see that this is actually a glass material so in order to get this kind of look in ev we can do that so let me change this to ev so select this model come to this material properties so first roughness i will reduce the roughness here and iqr i will give this 1.3 which is value of water and also we need to enable this screen space reflections and this translucent value also so now come to this render settings once again here we need to enable this screen space reflections and also screen space reflections so now we can see the liquid inside this so let me add a color so select the domain add material and let me change the color to here blue okay so here you can see we are seeing the liquid inside the object so in order to get that clearly let me select this model properties physics material sorry material properties and increase this value to like 0.1 so now this is looking much better nice so now duplicate this model by selecting that model shift plus t to duplicate it okay so this is the duplicated model so let me rename this as wire okay so now delete all the modifiers from here so i will take out this liquid also okay so now make sure this wire model is selected which is a susan model come to this modifier properties add modifier and add wireframe modifier here we will get this wireframe so let me give it a thickness of 0 0.05 so that we can see that clearly also let me increase this to 0 0.075 or else let me make it as 0 0.1 okay so now this is looking good and also let me change the material so come to this material properties let me delete this material and add a new material and let me give it a hello color light like this and let me give it a metallic look and reduce the roughness nice so that we'll get this gold kind of look so add a ground plane increase the scaling and let me add a material for this also so add a new material so come to the shading workspace select this principal bsdf press ctrl plus t for node wrangler if you are not enable node wrangler go to this edit preferences in add-ons look for node wrangler such as node by default this will be unchecked enable it save the preferences okay from here we can select any image texture so let me select an image so here i have selected this wood texture nice so let me add a curve modifier such as curve select this rpg and place this in between here and let me make it a bit dark nice so come to this layout once again so now if i play this once again we can see we got this nice liquid filling inside an object here so if you want to have shadows we need to add a light source so go to this add light add a sunlight let me place this above to the model press r and rotate it here so that we'll get shadows or else let me come to the slide properties and add a strength of three so now we can say we got this shadow here so if you want to hide out this source we can hide out this uv sphere so select that uv sphere okay so here we can click on this to hide in viewport and we can click on here to hide in render also so if you want to hide out object select the object hide out in viewport or hide out in render so nice so i will keep them here so in this way we can fill liquid inside an object in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.